Hello, I'm here on the last day of the Digital Wallet Hackathon, which was hosted by Microsoft here in London, which saw teams of developers work throughout the week uh, to put together the next generation dig digital commerce, uh, digital wallet applications, uh, a hackathon which ultimately saw Barclays crowned uh, as the winner. So uh, speaking with me today is Julian Wilson, who is, uh, I can say, a, a payments pioneer, uh, someone who's, who's been around the block uh, for, for a few years and has seen uh, t uh, financial innovation sort of sometimes come and go. So, you know, the, the, uh, this idea of uh, digital commerce, digital money, digital wallets, mobile commerce is, you know, it's very hyped right at the moment and, and it's on everyone's lips and it's big in the press. What is different with now? You know, why is there such promise in this technology now? Why now? I think there are three key reasons. Uh, firstly, the market exists. The penetration of smartphones, the uh, availability of e-commerce on the internet means that the community of buyers and sellers is here now. The second reason is the internet rules are beginning to apply, by which I mean the proprietary networks that previously controlled the worlds of retail payments. At the periphery of those, we're now seeing technology that has to comply and conform with the way the internet works. And that means the power is shifting. The third reason, um, perhaps the least understood but maybe most exciting, is what we call the ecosystem, the emergence of the ecosystem. I know a lot of people misuse that term, but to me what it means is a more complex value chain, where we recognize one day we partner with someone, the following day we may compete with them. And uh, in that is recognizing that payment's only a small part by which I mean the banks know they need partners. So now's the time for innovation in payments. Yeah, a lot of people talk about that we're in the midst of uh, what they're calling the wallet wars. You know, that there is no one wallet that's, that's come out as the dominant player. You know, what, what, where do you think this is going? You know, what, what, how, where's the future for the wallet? This is a, a great, it's another one of those terms, the technology industry is, is great at doing this, creating a word and assuming you know what it means. When digital wallet was first coined in the mid-late 90s, when I created a smart card payment system, it was a, a synonym for a container for payment instruments. I think now people realise it's much more. Um, our, the analogue cousin to a digital wallet has receipts, photographs, loyalty cards, uh, maybe some cash, lots of things in it. Um, but those are its contents. When that wallet's connected to a network, um, it can know a lot more about me, my wealth, location, where I am, my preferences. And that, uh, that rich data set can be made available to or by many different parties. Um, and so what we're saying is payment is perhaps a small part of an overall proposition. And the people who control payments today are recognising, do recognise, that they need to um, broaden their range of partners to do business. Yeah, so I can't, I can't let you go uh, with all the experience that you have without asking a question about uh, the ultimate promise uh, of digital commerce uh, that we've been looking at for about a decade, which is NFC, which of course a lot of people joke are, uh, is not for commerce. So, you know, where is the promise of NFC and, and will we see it? Yeah, it's a, it's a great, it's one of those, uh, is, it, is it the VHS Betamax thing? Um, <laughs> We're seeing the emergence of QR codes. NFC as a communication stack is simple, it's understandable. NFC as a technology probably has lots of application in lots of fields, from marketing to enabling the internet of things, to my fridge telling my supermarket when it needs something. It's got lots of applications. In the world of payment, it has a very specific role. It can be a great way to enable the fast transaction of a small amount of money. Perhaps the best examples of these are the uh, closed loop transport systems we see, uh, such as Oyster, Octopus in Hong Kong and, and, and the like. So in a certain type of transfer, NFC I think has a big role, maybe person to person as well could be added to that, uh, and I'm sure we'll have a long and healthy life, but uh, NFC and payments are not interdependent in my opinion.